effort that they have with regard to asbestos-related disease, the one I will immediately address is uh, their legislative efforts, with which I am not directly involved. We have a tissue bank. We do a lot of low-dose CT screening. We are working on updating the Selikoff cohort mortality and the, uh, an assessment of the family burden of this disease. So very briefly, let me tell you that the Insulators Tissue Bank is something that they decided they wanted for when their members go for an uh, asbestos-related diagnostic or treatment procedure. If such procedure results in spare tissue, that tissue comes to us at Mount Sinai and we distribute it to the researchers who are trying to find cures for these disease, diseases. Um, it's not just closed, uh, not just confined to insulators. Anyone is welcome to join this. <laughs> There's my first line. Uh, we currently have 2,500 of the insulators enrolled. Their family members started spontaneously co uh, copying the consent form and filling it in and sending it to me. So we opened up to family members. We have contractors involved. We have other building trades which are getting involved. It's a Herculean task, right, because you're enrolling people before they have disease and then you wait. Right, but tissue is beginning to come in, and we just uh, facilitated our first research study at the University of Chicago. Um, all are welcome to join, as I said. We also do a lot of low-dose CT screening. Chicago started this. They've done over 300 people. They've found multiple lung cancers, way more than they should have, and even a mesothelioma in a worker, an insulator who joined the trade way after asbestos was allegedly removed from insulator material, and his father was not in the trade. So let me tell you quite clearly, there are at least 22,000 insulators in this country who are well aware that this stuff is still around because the stuff that was already installed never went away. Um, we're trying to get low-dose CT doing, uh, going without criteria for smoking because we need to get the insulators, we need to get a criterion for years of asbestos work rather than a smoking history. So we're doing those in Baltimore, New York City, Toledo, and Milwaukee. We are updating the cohort mortality for the Dr. Selikoff cohort of 17,800 uh, insulators. We've got social security numbers for about 6,000 of them. The insulators have just um, pledged to support a research assistant who will help us do the rest so that we can update that work. Dr. Markowitz had some very interesting findings when he updated the mortality for a subset of about 3,000. So now we're going to try and do the entire 17,800. The other thing we're going to do is a survey of family burden of this disease. Entire families of insulators get wiped out, right? All of the boys, all of their spouses, and half of their children. That, as a matter of social history, I want to document as well as epidemiologically. Thank you.